Hi, Jeff Gadick here from Leisure Group Travel. I'm live in Philadelphia at the 2011 American Bus Association show. With me is Peter Pantuso, president of American Bus Association. Peter, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Jeff. Thanks for being here. Good, good. It's great to be here. Philadelphia is a wonderful city, certainly one of my favorite cities to travel to. Uh, Pete, it's been an exciting conference. Um, talk about some of the highlights that have happened here this weekend in the American Bus Association. Well, it's been a great week. We've had a lot of educational programs. We've got more operators here than we've ever had before. We've got over 325 operators operators taking appointments and another almost 400 operators here under roof at some point during the week. So almost 700 buyers in the uh, in the convention center at some point. We've had uh, great events sponsored by Branson, by Broadway, by Group group sales box office uh, this evening actually by New Jersey and the Atl and Atlantic City so just some great events taking place all throughout the week you've made some changes to the show this year I know you've tightened the schedule a little bit talk about that well we wanted to tighten the schedule and not diminish the schedule so we've made it a little more compact but we wanted to make sure that delegates are are getting the most value they're not away from their families or away from home any more than they need to be or away from their businesses so we think tightening the schedule and not diminishing anything they get is even more value compacted into a shorter time. Exactly. Uh, Philadelphia yesterday held a press conference and talked about an economic study that they put uh, forth on the group travel industry, engaging economic impact. Um, can you speak a, a bit about that and then also over uh, about the overall economics of group travel and justifying our means to the powers that be? Sure. In group travel in general, you know, we've done studies over the years and we show that the economic impact of a motor coach group with even as few as 40 people coming into a city for an overnight means as much as ten to fifteen thousand dollars in economic value the city did a study using a, an outside research firm a, a, a marketing firm and they found out that group travel brings about one almost one and a half million people to the city annually and that turns into about two hundred and fifty million dollars in group travel business for the city tremendous amount of economic activity I mean a quarter of a billion dollar business that doesn't require any change in infrastructure, doesn't require any kind of tax change. It's new business coming in from outside the area every single year, almost a quarter of a billion dollars. Yeah. And, and certainly that's important these days when budgets are tight and people need to justify their existence. I know the DMO uh, business is very tough these days, so uh, I look forward to seeing more of those as well. Absolutely. We're going to continue to work with cities and do more economic studies so that they can really show the impact of the group travel industry. It's easy to measure in a convention center. You know how many people come through the door, but sometimes you can't measure necessarily how many buses are coming in or what that impact is, but Philly's done a very, very effective job. Uh, absolutely. Uh, yesterday during lunch, there was a comment made by Jim Jalbert, and uh, I swore it shook the room. Uh, it was the concept of one show for the industry. Uh, talk a bit about your stance, and, and, and uh, obviously you're doing your show here in Philadelphia. We just finished a show, uh, National Tour Association in Montreal. What's the concept that you're looking at here? Well, the concept is having one place where the members Members can come one time a year. You know, in 2013, National Tour Association, United Motor Coach Association, and the ABA, three different events will take place within a two week window. That means that these members, the members that are here with us, are traveling potentially three times, maybe three registration fees, certainly. Uh, 15 nights worth of rooms as uh, meals on top of that so the cost savings to them by coming to one place and doing one show is absolutely huge it's about the members it's about helping the members it's about giving them more value and saving them money and doing it more effectively without diminishing anything that either association does and quite honestly the associations at the end of the day can be made whole in that process as well okay so we'll see three podiums up on stage then oh we'll take turns <laughs> Okay. Well, it'll be interesting to see if that is actually comes together. I know you have your schedule worked out through 2000. And we have ours worked out through 2014, but it's actually very flexible. And in fact, cities that we've talked to, we've said, could you accommodate a bigger group if they came? And all of them have said yes, they could do that in a heartbeat. Okay. And as they say, news at five regarding that topic. Exactly. Stay tuned. Watch our website. Look for the information that we put out. Okay, Pete. Thanks as always. Great interview. Thanks. Appreciate your time. Great to see you. Thank you.